Before Yusuf would join FaZe Clan. Before he would edit and create Call of Duty montages. Before he hit 2 million subscribers on YouTube. FaZe Apex is a member of the competitive Call of Duty Clan FaZe. He grew up in Anaheim, California and began focusing on Call of Duty during high school. At the time, he routinely kept up with content put up by the new rising clan called FaZe. After getting his foot in the door with some well edited videos, he was asked to join FaZe and take a shot at YouTube as a career. To him, it was one of the best decisions of his life. And he continues to create content and entertain his subscribers via his YouTube channel. Hey everyone! I'm Azzy and welcome to Before They Were Famous, documenting the life of FaZe Apex prior to fame. Also if you want to check me out, you can check me out on my personal channel, Azzyland. FaZe Apex is a man of mystery. Not much is documented about his early life. Even his actual name was a struggle for me to find. But thanks to FaZe Sensor, we know that he goes by Yusuf. What we also know is that he was born on June 20th, 1996 in Anaheim, California and currently resides in the FaZe house. I had no idea that was even possible until I watched Apex's video. So you said if you're watching this right now, shout out to you. Back during his high school days, he would ultimately form the clan with his friends called FaZes. It's ironic, but this team actually had no affiliation with the FaZe clan and was made two months prior to the FaZe we know today. In the summer of 2010, he would upload a montage called Perfectionist. During his earlier years of uploading videos, FaZe Apex went by the name of Atrocity HD. In November of 2010, he hit a ladder shot of Black Slip 1 and it is currently the oldest public video on his channel. Good job, team. After uploading videos regularly, he began to create more and more montages and became more involved with the Call of Duty sniping community. He was always watching FaZe since its inception and he desired to one day join a professional team. As he became more popular, he entered his montage, Moves, in a challenge issued by Rise in December of the same year. Even though he was unable to join Rise, his motivation remained high. It was at this point in his life that he decided that he was going to pursue joining FaZe Clan. At the time, the clan had about 5,000 YouTube subscribers. On New Year's Eve 2010, Apex sent a montage and a message to FaZe Temper. At the time, Temper was very impressed with the clips and added Apex to Skype. Afterwards, Apex was so excited that he filmed and edited another montage to send to Temper. Apex felt that the video was rushed and wasn't as high quality as the content he created up until that point. When he sent it to Temper, he received no response. In early 2011, he joined TSU and immediately joined DARE, one of the most prestigious sniping groups at the time. While on DARE, one of his clips made it into Temper Phase's top 5 videos of COD plays. At the time, Apex would thank Temper on Skype for adding him to the top 5 video. Shortly thereafter, Temper would add Apex to a small phase chat group. Temper would ask Apex to see the rest of his clips and to Apex's surprise, he would be asked to join FaZe. By October of 2011, he continued to grow in popularity and reached over 50,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. His montages and best series combined some of his greatest clips and were among his fans' favorite videos. His Road to Kill Cam series, which started in 2012, was one of his most long running series on his channel and would combine some of his best Call of Duty Kill Cam moments. The series had 99 episodes. You're faggot. As he continued to surpass milestones, he would continue to create more consistent videos and began his own top 5 series. After starting the series, he was also responsible for recruiting FaZe Adapt into FaZe. Oh yeah, Adapt, you gotta go change your fucking gamer tag so we can have a full FaZe. No, no way, you're kidding. Oh my god, you're no. In April of 2014, FaZe Apex would make a crazy prank video where he would kick out the members of FaZe. This also included FaZe Jeb as well. It was a prank that none of his subscribers and clanmates would ever forget. So am I being kicked from FaZe? Yeah, I don't know, like it sucks, but they just... We don't feel like you really like fit that well with what we're trying to do. But whatever you think of the prank, FaZe Apex definitely puts in a lot of work into his videos and has come up with plenty of different concepts, including, and not limited to, FaZe Baby. As his channel continues to grow, FaZe Apex is definitely among the leaders of FaZe Clan. 
and not only leads by skill but by example. He puts in hard work on his videos and he gave some advice to one kid who made a presentation about him for school. It was that you don't need a crazy setup to become a professional YouTuber. Apex started off with a $5 capture card and worked his way up as he started to grow in popularity. He's an example that hard work can get you places. Well that and some sick trick shots. And the rest of the story? Well you know the story because this is before they're famous. Awesome guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to tune in next time, bye!